good morning my dear students today i am explaining in front of you some of the remaining parts of your chapter first of sociology and society what is the meaning of the sociology and what is the interconnection of the sociology and the society what is the role of the society in sociology that is the interrelationship between the humans of the society so most of the important topics which we are considering here first growth of sociology here the growth of the sociology in india emerged and based on three facts three important topics industrialism industrialism second is colonialism and third is capitalism when the britishers came to india and they set up their industry after they have learned from the indian society more they have earned a lot of money from here and brought raw materials here to their own country after seeing this situations after seeing the raw materials was consisted in a greater parts of india so they decided for setting up their colonies they took that particular place on lease or purchase it after the theory of the capitalism means they have earned a lot of money after they will provoke we belongs to that particular society which i said which i will explain in front of you of the indian society so the indian peoples done that particular things and another topic is scope of society where the scope of the sociology when we want to say when we will discuss in the every section of the societies where we study of the society that is the scope of the sociology where we will reach in particular place in a little bit of the society parts so this is the scope of the sociology most of the contents is correlated because it is the general and the systematic study of the society so we can say it is the scope of the sociology sociology is a very vast because we learn from society we learn from not telling to anyone we learn a lot of by on doing their own work most of the contents we will achieve when we will do a good job when we will do a great work after the achieving this work we examine it that is the part of the society here we will also discuss in front of you when the britishers came to the india and the correlating to the european society to the indian society they based only two topics first is villains as unchangeable unchanging
second things infancy stage means when they come to india and they saw a lot of problems emerging in the indian society most of the contradiction between the each other so they benefited from the indian society after the achieving this fact they saw village was remain in the village there was no development there was no changement so they understood the indian people didn't know about anything and after it they also concerning the indian society is like as a infant infant means a new baby because we didn't know about anything which we are using which we are purchasing for our benefits but the indian society is not mentioning this after it the scope of the sociology is also denoted some of the term most of the terms where it gives us some several intellectual ideas i have already told in a real class intellectual ideas which was given by the charles darwin which was given by the james hope which was given by the herbert spencer also according to the serial of this series here one topic another sociology is is sociology is closely related to other subjects how sociology is closely related to other social science according to the social science many subjects included in it like as when we study of the economics sociology as study of economics second things sociology as a study of history next term anthropology and last sociology as a study of psycho 
कौन कौन सी साइकोलॉजी सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट सोशलॉजी एज अ स्टडी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स हाउ कैन यू सी वेन वी विल सी इन टर्म ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ द सोशलॉजी देन देर आर थ्री फैक्टर्स फर्स्ट इज प्रोडक्शन सेकेंड इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आफ्टर द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन थर्ड इज कंजम्पन थ्री बेसिक टर्म्स इज स्टडीड इन इकोनॉमिक्स वेयर वी विल स्टडी ऑफ द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज फॉर डूइंग द सोसाइटी सोसाइटी यूज these two terms here also we are describing price demand supply money flow money flow output or input these are the terms which we are studying in economics according to this according to the study of these terms the society is framed i mean to say society is also society is also used these are economic terms it means the human beings activated these particular concepts these particular activities so second topic is sociology as study of history how can we see because we are correlating to the human evolutions we are correlating to the ancient societies where the civilizations was emerged when we correlate to yourself to ourselves according to the history according to the basic facts when we study of our past then what we will see we will see we are belonging to that particular place there is not available much resources why because the people were not have more knowledge to use the resources how can they use nowadays it is important for everyone to having this knowledge if that the particular resource was used in which particular place so same things another topics sociology as study of political science political science here are three terms of the political science means three parts of the political science first pupil people of the population second state and third government these are the three terms which are including in your political sense what is the authority is saying so authority is saying and depends upon three facts judiciary executive and legislature so 
according to this we are just explaining in front of you political science concerns with government when we study of the political science it means we are studying of the power we are studying of the judiciary we are studying of the parliament means we are studying of the lives of the rules and the wonders of the human beings political problems are often explained and interpreted within the society which is not based on the sociological principle so according to this how is the use of this power according to the society so this is the form of the sociology so we can say sociology is a study of the political science and another facts of the anthropology anthropology where we study of the human behavior this is known as the anthropology means society is correlated to the anthropology and sociology as a study of the psychology this is also human behavior but it is a practice but it is not practiced it is practiced it is racial it is customs but it is not practiced it is not customs it is automatically inscribed it is automatically ascribed to the society so so the terms when we study of the psychology psychology means a person is studying of the human behavior how he is treated how he is managing their activities according to the society we also observing some of the behaviors toward the society interaction of the human beings is related to the society because it is beneficial for the society or not this is the term of the sociology so behavior is also dependent upon the human beings it is also terms denoted as sociology as a study of the psychology where anthropology when we study of the human behavior according to their practices according to their rituals according to their another types so we can say it is a study of the anthropology as a sociology because we are studying of the society here we are just explaining in front of you of the society all the subjects included in the sociology where we will see most of the social science subjects correlated to the sociology here one question for you what is the meaning of the anthropology and what is the meaning of the psychology according to the society so you will observe from yourself after the ending of the your class tomorrow i will just start your second chapters of the sociology so you will focus on your chapter number first of important topics where you will observe most of the comments most of the materials which is important for your upcoming exam thank you everyone have a nice day